joined with this little monkey here called Atticus. Atticus is my little brother and today he wanted to come and join me in my video, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so today we tested out Primark makeup and as you can tell by my face, it wasn't the best thing I've ever tried. We have done this before and Atticus did my complete face, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, which you enjoyed. I did it nice. He did do it nice and he done different elements of my face today, yeah, yeah, as you can probably could, tell. Could if I done it normal like you did, it not be right. That way I done it different. It can be perfect. Oh, okay, it can be perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Thumbs up. You know what to do. I am about to start testing out my makeup for you guys. And I am joined here, as I've already said, by a little special guest. Do you want to come up and say hi? Hi everybody. Atticus is here. He wanted to come and help me film this video for you guys as a bit more of because I can't see look. Can you not see? No. Oh! No. Atticus wanted to come and help, didn't you? Yes, that is better. That is better. Should we do some makeup? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna start off with the PS My Perfect yes. Colour Longwear Ultimate Matte Foundation. And this was five pounds. It comes in a kind of glass ceramic -y type bottle and it says it's the longwear ultimate matte foundation it has double coverage and matte finish and is apparently oil free so let's find out if this is actually true like i said it was five pounds oh no this is the one thing i hate about things like this you have to pour the product onto your hand I hate doing this. Oh no! I know Atticus, it's such a shame isn't it? We can't do it again. Oh no, that is too much. That is a lot isn't it? Yeah. First thing I'm going to say is this is a really sticky consistency. Like it's almost kind of like latexy in what a way like it's... I guess can I'm you guys see this? It's quite like a weird sticky consistency. I'm not really liking yeah. it. And I also got the shade Nude Beige. I didn't want to get the lightest because I do have a tan on the rest of my body. Even though it's got a bit tacky. L'Oreal Paris Foundation Brush. And I do have a beauty blender as well. Can you open the packet for me? I we do. picked up the PS Blendable Sponges. I'm just going to start off by, whoa, something just fell out of there. Packing this on my face. It's just really, really thick. No, I'm not a big fan of thick products, Atticus, to be honest because they're really hard to blend. Thin mummy! Although... I need your help. Did you just ask mummy for her help? Yeah. <laughs> I literally just coughed so bad. Basically, story well, time. Who is to do Anyone you want, bubs. I have been really ill. I had the Aussie flu, or like, or basically what everybody had, and I've been this so one. ill. If I look a bit, you know, worse to wear, that's one. why. There we go. Thanks, Atticus. Look, should I give up with this brush? Because yeah. it's not the brush, but the foundation isn't yeah. really going anywhere. As you guys can see, like, it's not a bad foundation at all. Like, it's actually not a bad foundation. And luckily, I just and saw I that fell over. I do this I'll see we're going to have that all over. I, I do this. Why is my little brother a pro at makeup? What are you thinking about the colour, Atticus? Does it match? Yeah, the colour. Should I blend with the other sponge? So these are the Primark PS Beauty Sponges. I do this Whoa. one too. This is very hard, very hard. I do this, I, there we go. It's like punching myself in the face. I do this one or do it again. It's literally like punching myself in the face. I do this Ow. So next we're gonna go in with the, cons oh my gosh. Are you joking? How am I meant to conceal anything with this? That, the whole concealer that stick that has come good, off. That not good. <laughs> well, that's because it's definitely not good, is it? Because what am I meant to do with that? Grandma, I love you, but that's not good. No, I love you too. Oh, pfft. Well, I hope we can get this. <laughs> I said I love you, Primark, but I do love you too. No. Look at this. It's actually <coughs> stuck. Like, it's fully stuck. No, no, you don't do like that. I know you're not meant to, Bubs, but it's... Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Ew. 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 Why do Primark beauty videos always get so messy? Anna. Oh, this is concealer. This isn't lipstick, Atticus. As you can see, guys, I bought this in a little bit of a lighter shade because I thought the foundation was going to be darker than it actually is. I use it. Are you going to blend it for yeah. me? Oh, go on then. You blend it for me. Saves me some work. Look, mummy. 
<laughs> Mummy can't hear you. So I'm gonna blend it in my chin. You keep blending it in the forehead. To be honest, even though we've had a bit of an issue with obviously getting the concealer out, I actually kind of in a weird way like this concealer. Like I'm not sure about the consistency of it, but the colour, like I feel like it has Where actually it? highlighted the areas where and I wanted we it to. Then again, it's gone very patchy around my nose, Mommy. which is the area where everything does normally Mommy. go patchy, so. The base could have been worse, but I feel like even though the concealer was only 90p, it's actually not that bad, but like I said, I it has made it. my nose go all the like, way uh. I'm gonna be trying a product that Amber actually said is meant to be really good. <laughs> so this is the, <laughs> Are you okay? This is the oh. PS Insta Girl Banana Powder and it's a loose powder to set makeup. So, I am going to bake this onto my face. Oh no, this doesn't want to come off. This is so annoying. Ow, what's that? <laughs> He's going to have a laughing fit now. <laughs> Yeah, be when we both die. <laughs> Does it look good? Yeah. Does it? And look. I guess I can tell more if this powder is actually any good once <coughs> it's kind of like actually set, you know? So we're gonna go in and we're gonna bronze. I mean let's I like how you will blonde. Oh my gosh, it is really yellow. I know it's meant to be banana powder, but that ain't gonna work well with my skin. I'm telling you guys that now. Atticus keeps telling me to keep my hair on. <laughs> I got to make a little crest to us. I do not know why I let him sit here while I'm filming this video. <laughs> Stop. I am going to go in with the PS Bronze Glow Bronzing Powder. And I don't think this is going to be that, that good. But let's give it a go. It's just really, really shimmery and Atticus is doing something to my arm. Why do I kind of like it? I don't know, like it might be the lighting, it might be the mirror, but it's actually not the worst bronzer I've ever tried, like it's actually kind of good. I actually kind of like the colour of this, like I can't tell if it's like too dark, do you know what I mean? Like I can't really tell if it's too dark okay. yet because it's near the banana powder, but I actually kind of like it and I feel like it's added kind of like a nice colour back no. to my face. The only thing is it's got a bit of shimmer to it and I'm not a fan of shimmer. No. I just prefer matte. Now I'm going to brush the banana powder off. Although it seems to have set into my skin, which I thought was going to happen. I feel like that would actually be a really good powder if it wasn't so yellow. Like I know it's banana powder, uh, but maybe I if I had a different do. shade. I don't know, can you get shades? Maybe that's what it is. What's that? I feel like my face actually looks okay, like, is it just me? But I feel like it kind of looks okay. Next, I'm going to go in with the PS Blush, and this is a high pigment blusher. Anna, please, I want to do this. Okay, you can do this. Okay, where's um, a blush? And put it on my cheek. Oh, gosh, this is so big. Put it on my cheeks. Cheeks. There go. Cheeks. And there's your cheek. Okay, other cheek. Be careful. Oh, that was really pigmented. I was going the high pigment, but I actually feel like it was. Oh gosh. Oh, Maybe a little bit more. No, 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 no. I think we've got enough. Well, let's do this. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so pigmented. I will do this. No! I will do the next thing. This is such a fail. And I do the next thing. <coughs> we almost did it. I was literally just sat saying as the Christmas makeup looked okay, but no offence, but I think we've got a little bit too much blusher on. I'm gonna go in with the iconic brow pomade and the brush. So I'm gonna fill in my brows and then I'm gonna highlight and then we're gonna go in with some eyelashes. Here is the pomade, it kind of just looks like any pomade pot really. 
and it's quite a dark brown. So I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'm going to get back to you. As you can see, I've now got some sort of eyebrows and eyelashes on and these eyelashes will not stick on me for the life of me. I don't know what to do. They won't stick on. They look awful and they feel so plasticky. We're just going to have to try and salvage the look that we have because it's honestly so, so bad. And I'm just going to have to basically highlight the hell out of my face because I don't know what we're going to do else because this look did just it just didn't go how I want it to go. I feel like Primark makeup could actually be like half decent like if it was used uh. to its full potential but for me personally today no it's a no from me. This highlighter might be quite good though so to be fair if the blush was in the right place courtesy of Atticus it wouldn't look too bad but um yeah not quite feeling it so let's get the highlighter open this was three pounds and it's like a shimmer brick so let's just basically shimmer the hell out of this brick Bye, my cheeks is that even going on this is actually a really nice highlighter but it's really really gold toned as you can see like i feel like this is for somebody with a much darker skin show like shown same Anna tone than me because I love highlighters but and like this is so so pigmented but it's really gold and I normally go for like really really white toned highlighters but it's really really pretty I feel like this is just like an attempt at like oh, I thought it was gonna snap I feel like this was just an attempt at like an Instagram slay look that just didn't work. Do you know what I mean? Now, finally, we're going to go in with some lips. So, this is a copy of the Kylie Jenner lip kit. And this is the Get Lippy Matte Collection. There is a lip liner, but I never bother with lip liners. So, we're just going to go straight in with the lipstick. This, like I said, is I the new shade. So, I want to do it. let's have a look. This is actually a really similar shade to Candy K. Like, it actually is. I mean, it's I definitely not the shade in the tube, but it does kind of look like Kylie Jenner, doesn't and it? And I love the... I love the makeup. Oh, do you? Look, look. Do you like it? Look, look. At least one person likes it. Here is the finished makeup look. Obviously, this is not a serious look at all. The eyelashes are bugging me so much. But Primark makeup is actually good. It just doesn't really suit my face or my skin tone, and I just bought the wrong no. shade, didn't I, Atticus? Yes. I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on Sunday at 10am for a brand new one. Bye. Bye.